Good morning and today I'm in the Lake District and I'm going to attempt one of the most difficult hikes there is to do in the Lake District. <laughs> I'm trying to try and do the Newlands watershed, the entire watershed. It should cross off at least 10 Wainwrights, uh, possibly 11 depending on how fit I feel. <laughs> um, no guarantees I'm going to make this walk. There are escape routes and if it gets too hot because the weather that we've been having recently that could be a major factor. I've got double water just in case and I've got some uh, electrolytes as well to help stop cramps. So uh, we'll give it a go, give it a shot. Um, as I said I might end up bailing halfway around but um, you never know unless you try don't you. <laughs> Nearly went the wrong way. <laughs> I was going to go over the bridge, but it's not that way. It's just behind me here. That's the right way. I was expecting heat today. I wasn't prepared for the humidity though. That's going to be a killer. The bilberries are out. A nice snack on route. Wow, a bit sour like. I don't know if it's quite ripe yet. <laughs> the views are opening up. And somehow we've got to get to the top of here. Ah, there's a lovely breeze now. I'll come out the valley a little bit. Down that valley is so humid. If it had been like that all the way, I would have packed in after, I probably would have done this one and then after that, I probably would have turned around. But if this breeze stays up, I'll be, I might be all right. Oh dear, that was really hard, that. Just the humidity, you know. Wasn't the, the steepness or the, the distance, just pure humidity. I oh, sweat buckets. Right. That's my goal, Cozy Pike. Can't exactly see a clear way up. Uh, there might be something on the other side of that ridge, I'm not sure. If not, I'll be scrambling up that ridge. Okay, I'm really not feeling comfortable on this route. Um, it's been a bit of a, not much of a scramble, but a bit of a scramble coming up. It's very loose shale. It's not very good underfoot and the weight of my pack's all wrong. It's pushing me backwards. So I have to try and rearrange my pack because up there is a proper climb. And you see there, the path finishes at the bottom of here. There's a proper climb to the top. Not a big climb, but still a climb. Cozy Pike everyone, <laughs> that's a hard bit done, <laughs> there's a flying ants all around me, there's an ants nest right on the top, so I'm not going to hang around here very long. Okay, next I'm going to follow this ridge along and then that's the next one and then drop down the back of there and then I'm not sure if we to go up the top of there and back that one or not, depends how I feel when I get to the end of there. I have to drop down to this valley and then back up the valley to this one and then that one and drop down back up again and then up I think that one's Robinson and then around all the way around and back down should be 11 win rights in total if I do the 11 win rights if I do that one over there so I'm not going to hang around here because I'm being eaten alive by ants so uh, on to the next one.
Star Crags, everybody. We're in rank number two. And I'm gonna have to make a decision soon. Uh, it's looking tough, like. So, Corsi Pike's over there. I've come along this ridge. There's the views. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Okay, I've made my decision. I'm not going to go up that one. That's the sail. Uh, it'll be straight up and straight back down the same way. And uh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it might be. And there's a hill on the other side which I'm going to have to do at some point, in any case, so it'll be easier to do it with that hill. Because it's after 10, and I've still got all of this to do. So it's going to be 10 win rights. So two down, eight to go. Okay, I've uh, been heading down the wrong path. I'm on this little windy trail that goes around the side of sail. And actually, I need to be straight down. I'll show you. Okay, I'm coming down this little trail here. Actually, what I should have done was come down this, what looked like a dry stream bed, and just go straight down. I can I go straight back up that one? There's gonna be a hell of a climb that. Okay, so I'm at a point now where I can just like have a bash, get back on trail. Ah, the wind's picking up, lovely. So I've got this hard climb to do, it's gonna be a slog. That's hard crags at the top. So I've lost a lot of uh, height. So I was over there before Cozy Pike. Came along the ridge and then I came basically down here. And you see quite a lot of people going up sail. There's a couple there. There's a couple there, so a couple of foul runners before. And when you can put it in scale to the people, I'm glad I didn't go. It would have been one too many. Oh, I, it's hard going straight up these uh, hills like in straight lines. Uh, now I know why this is one of the hardest hikes and to be honest I think doing it in reverse is harder um, I thought it might not be but looking at the other side of the valley here I think it's not straight up well here it is straight up Hard crags, everybody. I'm not exactly sure which is the summit. I don't know if this is the summit or whether that's the summit where I've just come over. Because I'm going to be doing both. Give you the views. So next is that one. And I drop down. And then up this one, and then go around slightly, do that one, back down around, and across these ones, and then finish with that one. My car's parked on the bottom of there. But so far, I've uh, gone straight up here, in a straight line, and along the ridge. And then I've come down here slightly on a slope to about there and then come straight down and I've come straight up this one. So far this is a very very hard work, walk. It's uh, really really hard and I'm not even halfway through yet. So seven more to do. And it's looking back at Art Crags. Oh dear, I'm jiggered. <laughs> it's just having to come all the way down there and then all the way back up here. That really took me, it took a lot out of me.
That's rig everybody. We're right number four. Six more to go. <laughs> oh hey. Ah. That wind's lush. <laughs> now this is the biggest problem with this walk. I've got to lose all that height. And then I've got to climb up again that height and then gain that height on top. Makes it really tough. I don't know which way is the toughest, but uh, I well understand why this is considered one of the hardest hikes to do in the Lake District. If, uh, you have to gain a lot of height quickly, you gotta lose a lot of height quickly, and then you gotta gain it again, and then lose it again, and then gain it again. It's uh, all up and down. It's not easy at all. So up there. Next up, Robinson. So there might be a little bit more scrambling involved. Nothing much. This walk. This walk is seriously tough. Really, really hard. This is my third ascent. It's all straight up. It's relentless. This is another one that goes straight up. <sighs> I'm feeling a little bit cramped with my legs as well. I'm going to have to take a break. <sighs> I might need to turn around. Head back to the pass. See if I can get a lift. Um, I haven't got cramps properly in my legs yet, but I feel them coming on. I've taken some electrolytes. I haven't kicked in yet. Uh, the trouble is, is that I don't want to use too much water because I've still got quite a long way to go. Even if I turn back, I've still got a long way to go. Um, brought double water as well. But uh, that initial climb at Cozy Pike, the humidity was just unreal. Just killed us. And I've been struggling since. Pretty close now. It's only 250 meters to the top, and then after that, it's not that difficult. This is one hell of a this is one hell of a walk. Um, I'm not enjoying it. I have to admit, I'm really not enjoying it. Um, it's all those ups and downs at the start. They're just uh, knacky. I mean, as I said, I've, I've probably done about a thousand meters of ascent already, and cobbled with that is about what I don't know, maybe 500 meters of descent. It's uh, and it's all been straight up as well. It hasn't been like winding up a path or going up a gentle slope. It's been straight up the steepest possible side on both Art Crag and on um, Cozy Pike and uh, it's going straight up on this one as well I'm going to wind slightly to the left this sun's killing me there's no shade I'm uh, about halfway up Robinson. I reckon it's uh, probably just as far if I walked back down to the pass and walked home along the road. Uh,
Robinson everybody, that was the hardest climb I've ever done. <laughs> Uh, if I hadn't done the other two beforehand, it would have been not. It would have been easy, but having done the other two, it was a nightmare. So uh, this is Wainwright number five. Five more to go. It's now at the point where it's actually just as easy to go continue the walk as it is to turn around. So might as well just continue it. Here's the views. It's all about the views. And the next one's over there, Heinzkopf. Heinzkopf everybody, we're in right number six today, four left to do. You're supposed to get a really good view over there, but I'm not going to do it. I couldn't care less about the view <laughs> at the moment. I'm running out of time, so I need to hurry. Next one's over there. Dale head, there's a bit of a beast. And then I've got to do all these ones along here, back to the car, and then finally, cap bells. Still got a long way to go. I'm knackered, seriously, seriously tired. All right. I don't know how much daylight I've got left. Maybe four hours if I'm lucky. How good is that? Dale head everybody, Wainwright number seven. <laughs> this is the highest point on my walk today. And I'm sharing the summit with quite a few people. There's quite a lot of people here. The views are magnificent. Look at that. There's Dale Head Torn. It's a noted wild camping spot. Could you get a better pitch than that? Sheltered all the way around by walls. Flat grass in the middle. This one's not too bad for a small tent. Onwards and upwards, still got to go up there, high spy next. So I went up there, straight up, and I went along there, and I came down right down to the bottom of the valley, and then back up again, and I went along those ones there just in front of it, and I eventually came over the back here, and I did that one, and I've just done this one. And now, this one.
High spy everyone. We're in rank number eight. I'm absolutely knackered. Only two left to do any case. Really nice views here. It's a long way down there. Maiden Moor comes into sight. I'd be like to get the top of there. Maiden Moor, everybody. Wayne Wright number nine. Just one left to go. Everybody's favorite cat bells. And you can see where I've been now. Right up here, straight up. Along there. And right down the bottom of the valley and then back up the one in front of it. All the way along there. Dropped all the way back down to the pass and all the way up the top of Robertson, around, and then up to Heinz Gough, back around, Dale Head, drop down Dale Head, and then uh, up High Spy, and now I'm on Maiden Moor, and next and last over the Cats Bells. Coming off Maiden Moor was actually quite hard on the legs, it's hard on the knees, especially under feet. Still, last one to do. Ah, yeah, I'm so tired, so thirsty as well. Been rationing my water because I kind of went through too much at the very, very start. Cat bells. Ten out of ten. Yes. Get it. That's the most exhausting walk I've ever done. Right. It's not over yet. I've got to get back to the car now. The car's down that way. That's the complete Newlands watershed walk in reverse order. All ten winners. And I'm knackered. Ah, that's to be the hardest walk I've ever done. It's enough to put you off wanting to come to the lakes ever again. It's the first time ever I've not wanted to go for a walk. <laughs> and normally after a fish walk, even a long one. I'm ready for the next one straight away. This is the first time I'm not. I think I could uh, do with a week off, to be honest, after that one. Oh dear. I don't recommend this walk. <laughs> not unless you're super fit. It's not the hardest challenge in the Lake District. The fell runners do amazing stuff, but uh, in terms of hiking, that has to be one of the hardest hikes you can do. Has to be. So I'm back at the car park at last. Finally, I can get some water. I always keep spare water in the car. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up 
Uh, don't forget to comment below. So tired. <laughs> uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And so you can follow my next adventure. And share with your friends on social media. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Won't you?